We've got the trailer hitch installed, so now we're moving on to the lighting harness. Uh, and this is this lovely fella here. Now, the instructions say you got to pop off these side cavities, and uh, they come off real easy. Just put a screwdriver in there and. Whoops, that go back on. Out she comes. And uh, then you exposed wires. It says, Honda fit only. Use the blue one and not the green one. Well, guess what? They're not blue and green, they're just gray. So I'm going to have to figure out which one they mean just by what's going on out here. That's a signal light. That's a reverse light, so it's obviously not going to be the one that's here, but there's three and not two of them because my brake uh, and marker light is this guy down here. Um, so that's going to be fun. Um, oh yeah, and it also said to pull off this scuff panel, and that's this guy. That came off like a snap. It just I pulled it and it literally just snaps into place. Back in my day, as they say, uh, there was uh, screws everywhere. So there were screw heads exposed everywhere, and for some reason they decided that screw heads were intolerable, and everything should just be made of plastic and pop into place so that it'll break if you try and move it. That way you've got to go to a mechanic to get this kind of crap done. Anyway, so let's uh, plug some lights in here and uh, see if I can't get this thing uh, going. Now to install this kit effectively, it really helps to be familiar with the kind of wiring that you're trying to do here with the way the trailer wires up and that is through this common sort of plug here this is green yellow brown and white which corresponds with the right signal left signal marker light the white wire is the ground so here's you know the picture of the trailer plug that comes with it and these are very common if you've ever wired a trailer to a car you've had to deal with one of these so the kit has this controller box where it makes decisions based on what inputs it gets to what signals it has to send out. The green wire goes to the right side signal light, the yellow goes to the left side signal light or the driver side, and then this plug uh, is going to take the marker light and the brake light power. This is an example of the right side signal light. You take the panel off and unplug the light that goes into it and then insert this green guy in between them. So we're going to take power and signal from this assembly, send it to the controller unit which in turn sends it out to the trailer. So when your lights are on they're on and when they're off they're off. You're doing the same thing with the driver side signal and also with another assembly which is for the brake light and marker light. Now the reason it's important to know all of this ahead of time is for example the instructions say to make sure you take the blue wire for the brake assembly and not the green wire or the green plug sorry. Um, well guess what they're not blue and green they're just gray. So you really need to know when you're dealing with the red and brown wires that you're trying to take power from the brake light assembly and when you're dealing with the yellow wire or with the green wire on the opposite side you're trying to pull from the signal light. The instructions say to plug in the red and yellow wires on the driver's side and the green on the passenger side. This light here is the signal and then down here is the brake light and um, marker light. So what you do is you take apart the, you unplug the, the car's plug, which is this one here, and pull that out of the light fixture mount, which is in the wall here, and then you insert this thing in place. It's like a little extension cord. Now I'm going to use this fish wire, which I've already fed through the body, it comes out down here. Uh, I'm going to pull the green wire through this panel, like behind it, and then push it up this panel to hook into the lights on the passenger side and then we can plug in and test. I always hated dealing with side panels because whenever you start screwing with them you never know if you got them quite in exactly the way they were before or if any rattles you hear were the result of your own carelessness. So anyway, got all the panels back in. There's the green wire. I just wrapped it around this existing wire, whatever that is, and the rest of everything just falls neatly into this uh, trunk spare wheel hole. So, now let's go get the trailer and hook it up.